Hi everyone and welcome back to a new challenge that I'm starting. Um, I'm not sure if you've seen on my Twitter but I did post a little hint to what it could be and what am I doing with the camera here hang on yeah so it is actually the snow white challenge as you can probably tell by now because of the title of this video um so let me just um show you the characters first so in her childhood she has to live with the huntsman and the queen I've said queen evil because I didn't really want her name to be evil queen um, it is Evil Queen, but I didn't really want her name to show up as Evil. I wanted it to show up as Queen. If that makes sense. And then we obviously have Snow White. So, the Huntsman is loves the outdoors, handy, athletic, friendly, and an angler. Now, this is him here. Now, throughout, she will move out, obviously, and she does move in with the dwarfs and everything eventually. But for now, this is who she is living with for this part of the challenge. So, this is the Huntsman. Um, let me just hit play the now so you can maybe see him a little bit better. He's kind of earthy and outdoorsy and everything like that. Um, then we have the queen, the evil queen. Oh, I'm really bad <laughs> with camera angles. I'm sorry. I'm probably making you all so sick right now. Oh my goodness. Right. <laughs> it doesn't help we're on like a, like, a hill kind of thing. Okay, that doesn't oh god right okay that's her there anyway <laughs> let me just press play she made me move her face that's pretty much what she looks like what are they doing receive peace I don't know what that is but I will try and let you see her face a little bit more you had to you couldn't really make her ugly because she isn't ugly she's very vain and she cares a lot about her appearance um so I kind of wanted her to be pretty but still kind of um, nasty looking, but not really, you know what I mean? She's got a little bit of something about her. Snow White here keeps on wanting to read, and we're not going to be doing that. But this is Snow White. I kind of just stuck with the traditional colours for her. And that's pretty much what her face looks like. So let me actually just turn it a little bit, and you can see it better, probably. It's not the best angle, but that's what her face is right now. So, before we get started, I'm just going to read, not the entire rules, I'll leave the rules down below, but I'm just going to read out to you all a little bit, actually we'll show you the house first, we'll show you the house first. Um, so, over here, ugh, I'm so bad with the camera, we have the Huntsman's um, little area. Because he doesn't ha he has his own little area, you could have made it on the ground floor or a separate little bit outside, which I thought was a better idea, really. So it's not nothing special. None of the house is anything special. I'm not the best builder or anything, but it's going to do its purpose. So he's got his little bedroom area here. It's all just um, like a studio little thing. He's got his TV and he's got a little mini fridge and his bathroom. It, nothing is the worst items, but it's not the best either. Because he, his sole purpose in the story was to capture Snow White for the Queen. But he's obviously now living here. This is his little area. So if we go back up, so up here we have this little bit up here. This is the queen's little lair thing. Um, she, because she's so vain, I decided to give her a lot of mirrors. So she has this dresser here. I kind of wanted it to look natural wood-like. So she has mirrors here. Basically every wall I could get one on. I tried to get a mirror. Um, so we have another couple mirrors here. Just a little seat. These creepy looking wooden things, which I thought, I don't know, I could just kind of see her using them I don't know it's kind of weird but that's what I thought when I was building it um then we obviously have the bed and this little cabinet thing now I chose this for a certain reason because she keeps the hearts in these boxes um you know how she like take people's hearts and put them in the boxes uh that's kind of what I thought for this I thought this was a really good idea um 
just because pretty much because I had boxes in it that's all um I don't know kind of weird I know but to get to her bedroom she just got like a little oh I forgot to put wallpaper there let me just quickly do that I'll skip actually will I skip I don't know let me just grab this here and then go up and we'll just put that there there we go um so this bit's not really got anything in it it's just basically the tower up to her um little lair and here's just like a hallway nothing too special and we've got the living room with all the bookcases and just some cds and stuff and that sort of thing then here we have the kitchen again nothing is really too special it's all kind of simple i didn't really want to go overboard with it um i know it's meant to be a castle and everything but i don't know that's just what i was thinking so here's our room no that isn't snow white's room that's the bathroom <laughs> what am i talking about dear right okay and uh here's just like a little dining room and then down this ladder here into the basement we have cinderella's room now it is old looking it's sad looking um so our room was to be very simple um so this is what she got i gave her a horse bed because i feel like something reminded me that Snow White likes horses. I don't know if that's from the film or Once Upon a Time the TV show <laughs> but I don't know. Something gave me the idea she liked horses so I kind of went with it. Um, and now she is to have minimal toys. She isn't really supposed to have a lot um, so I just gave her this and that's the only toy she has. I was going to give her a toy box and I thought there's several different toys in the toy box. We'll give her that so it's a very sad room nothing too spectacular about it nothing too spectacular about the whole entire house actually oh and we just have this little thing up here i don't know i felt like i should just put that there so i did so anyways um okay so i'm just going to read through a few of the rules for childhood if you want to continue and read the teenage years or if you want to try this challenge i will leave the link down below so here we go. Childhood. Snow White is having a rough time. Her parents are dead and her stepmother, the Queen, hates her. The Queen is very jealous of the young girl and is actively trying to make her life miserable. Luckily, Snow White has won the pity of the huntsman. Oh my goodness, what did I just do? I came out the entire thing. Hang on a second. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so she's won the pity of the huntsman, but this must remain a secret. So your objectives for childhood. Snow White and the Queen must become enemies. Snow White and the Hunter should become friends. The Queen uses her mirror on a near a daily basis. She should use the mirror to build up her charisma as evidence of how often she uses it. The hunter and the queen should become friends. After all, she needs to trust him to give him the mission to get rid of Snow White. Oh, so he, maybe he hasn't got the mission yet, but whatever. I'm sure that's probably in the teenage years then. So that's that. Now your restrictions. Snow White in this stage is a household servant. The queen should not be allowed to clean and the hunter may clean auton autonomously but instructing the uh, it says the hunter in this but i've always known his name to be the huntsman so i'm calling him the huntsman <laughs> that's why um so the, instructing the huntsman to clean should be avoided but there's many things that a child cannot clean and this can be left to the huntsman additionally the queen wishes for snow white to remain as ugly as possible she has therefore forbidden snow white to shower more than once or twice a week she she may wash her hands and brush her teeth freely so snow white is completely forbidden from showering this is a bonus challenge um if she absolutely must she may only shower behind the queen's back when the queen is off the lot of her own free will slash job not because you have vacated her to allow snow white to shower only the huntsman may help snow white with her homework and only when the queen is nowhere in sight the queen may not catch kind acts like this towards snow white or they will be forbidden for three days the queen discourages socializing 
that only means more people being amazed at the girl's beauty and less people being amazed by hers. Outside of school, no friends may be brought over, nor may Snow White visit any friends and the girl's beauty must be locked up and not seen. All friendships can be made and maintained through school and phone conversations. For a bonus challenge, you could do Snow White is good and obedient. Only phone conversations and school as per Queen's rules may be used for social interactions. So basically, Snow White isn't allowed to go out to anybody's houses or anything like that. She can only make friends through school and the phone. We're trying to get her and the Huntsman close behind the Queen's back and the Queen and the Huntsman need to become friends and the Queen and Snow White need to become enemies. Um, so Snow White is not allowed to shower because the Queen doesn't want anybody to see her as being beautiful. She only wants people to see her as being beautiful. So that is that. So Oh, I forgot to mention Snow White's traits are family oriented, neat and good. And the queen is irresistible, proper, snob, evil, and mean-spirited. So, with all that being said, I feel like we can get started. So I don't really know where to start. Maybe we'll start with them becoming a bit friendlier. And Snow White can, I don't know what she can do really. She can do whatever she likes. So, we'll just friendly and ask him about his day a little bit. And uh, discuss matters of etiquette. Etiquette? Etiquette? I don't know. Um, and let's um, ask about his al alma mater, Dana. whatever that's called. So Cin Cinderella, Dana. whoa. I didn't Dana. mean to say that. Um, so Snow White. I suppose, I suppose she can just... What's she got here? She's not got anything really. And she wants to paint in school, but we don't have an easel. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to buy an easel, though. I don't really know. But she wants to read something, so I'm sure she can do that. There's nothing to say she can't use any of these things. It's not like Cinderella, because Cinderella was not allowed to use any of these things. So it doesn't say that anywhere in the rules, so we're just going to let her use whatever she likes, really. Alright, so are they done? Yeah, they're, they're done. So... The queen needs to be able to trust him, so we're going to try and build up their relationship a bit here. So, learn that he's friendly, and oh, he does not like that she is mean, so we'll, we'll high five him. Okay. And Snow White can't really talk to him unless the Queen isn't around. So we'll probably leave that until the Queen's sleeping or something. Um, I don't really know what else we can do. I don't know. It's kind of difficult because... I think the challenge really would start, you know, when she starts to get smelly and all that sort of thing. So we'll get to know her. Um, we will. Um, funny tell a funny story. <coughs> okay, and we'll just put this on to speed two for now. I just heard the ice cream truck. truck. <coughs> Sorry, I have something uh -huh. like in my throat and it's really irritating. Okay, so. If we maybe do friendly and. I don't know. I don't really know what we can talk about. High five, let's do that again. Sword! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she did not want to do it. Okay, so... Plark Noogle? He just discovered that she's evil. So we'll, we'll just uh, do a high five to him. See if he accepts our Saba. high five. <laughs> yeah, he does. He does. Um, so let's gossip a little bit. Sorry. And maybe <laughs> enthuse about exercise because he's athletic. She knows that he's athletic, so she knows that's something that he would like. 
Now, after that, we're just actually going to have... So, they're friends now. Does so, we're going to have her just yeah, come well. and... Let's see. <laughs> mean... Yeah. Let's patronise uh -huh. Snow White yeah. a little bit. Because I know it's bad, and I feel really bad being horrible to Snow White. But it's something that has to be done. So, that's... Oh, my goodness. We're having issues. We are having issues here. Okay, so... We'll patronize her. Make a lift, you nabby. Moza, quick nose. Okay, so did that even do anything? I don't even know. Let's insult her. Gina, but left the tab. Hi up, what goes Okay, maybe if we argue with her again. Bluff, Kadazi, Minafka. Okay, and then maybe if we just try patronizing again. I don't know why that didn't do mm -hmm. anything the last uh, time. Dougaloo Vivna. Boeva. Tezalovna. Okay. <laughs> um. I don't know. Mean spirited. Evil. Mastermind plot. What does that do? Oh my goodness, there's something. What is that? It's just the door in my way. Okay, and then if we maybe let's insult her again. Okay, and then argue with her. And I don't really know what else we can do. Let's insult her again. That's like the only options we have. This is not very good. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, so they're starting to dislike each other now. Um. Oh, here we've got another one. Declare Snow as Nemesis. Okay, let's have Snow White do a couple interactions here. Oh my goodness, now we're enemies. Um, I don't know, mean. Let's argue with her. Okay, so they are, <laughs> they're not getting along very good at all. And let's just have the huntsman go interrupt things a little bit. So let's go and, uh, um, just, huh? just gonna ask her about her day and personal white enemy the presence of garbage would be preferred to that hated enemy <laughs> has she got that trait as well yeah she's got oh she she ha enemies are pathetic the mere i was reading that the mere sight of oh, such pitiful bad, mortals Zeddy brings Mani. joy to your sin oh. sim so, Cinderella, no. Oh my goodness, stop calling her Cinderella. It's Snow White. Snow White, Sophie, Snow White. Okay, so we just have Snow White when he is at the toilet here. And she is a little bit hungry, so maybe she can actually have a quick meal and some cereal. And. <clears throat> oh, they're attracted to each other. Ooh. Oh, and don't criticize this family. Don't do that. Um, let's just uh, friendly and let's gossip. See what she has to say. Okay, so just ignore this sim here. That was the dad. Who is this? Oh, that was that must have been the thing. Um, school mascot thing. Okay. Have you heard that Janet Collier is secretly a party animal? Oh my goodness. Right, okay, so if we go to, let's see. Let's see if we can just flirt there, see if he likes that. Because I'm sure the Huntsman and um, the Evil Queen um, were actually seeing each other and that's how she managed to persuade him. I could be completely wrong. I take a lot of things from uh, Once Upon a Time. I love that TV show. And I know that she kind of had him, you know, kind of under her thumb a little bit. She could do whatever she wanted. Um, 
with him and she could get him to do pretty much anything. Now his name is Eric, I don't know if I said that already but I did look a few things up and that is um, basically what his name was. Apparently I had absolutely no idea but uh, let's uh, boast about her good looks because that seems like something the evil queen would do doesn't it? Sure, and then we're actually going to go and have her go and just admire herself and check self out in the mirror and yeah I don't know why we're not getting oh and then maybe we could practice the domination of the world speech so let's go back because since she is not around where is some oh my goodness I was about to do it again where is snow let us know maybe you should put away this book here where'd the huntsman go oh he's way over here which is perfect so because she's too busy going and uh, looking at herself in the mirror basically we're gonna have her go over here to the huntsman so almost like we're sneaking away because we know she's too busy looking at herself in the mirror so we're sneaking off to speak to the huntsman here all right so maybe if we um, oh, that's him. What am I doing? Okay, so he can maybe ask about her day, see how she's getting on. No, don't, 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 don't. Don't go back in here. You can't be outside out in the open because she might look out her window. Come on, go here. Back inside. Back inside. Because you don't want the queen to look out her window and to see Snow White. So, right, where were we? Ask about day. Okay. Pash do zi. Was do ki. Start it to rain as well. Mind desire yando. Okay. Uh oh. Is it she she went to the toilet. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well. Dang it. Barbna. Hopefully she just thinks she's in her bedroom. Um and doesn't come over here. So let's say uh, friendly and just discuss favourite TV shows. Not that Snow Energy. would probably watch TV Goodbye. that often anyways, Great but praise the fantastic yoga. book she was reading maybe. <laughs> she might like that. <clears throat> now Huntsman is hungry. So let's just speak through these interactions a little bit. There we go. And maybe if she just says, I don't know, maybe if she shares a secret with him. Okay, and then maybe gossip a little bit. Did you know that Claudia found 20 simoleons in the sandbox? Okay. So... We'll just stop there the now and we'll have oh my <laughs> goodness. Have her no not her. We'll have him have a quick meal and just have I don't know, maybe just some um, canned soup. And let us know why what is she doing? She's busy doing that, so we could just sneak back over here. That would be great. Okay, come on. Right. And then she really should probably go to bed now so we'll actually have her go to bed because she does have school in the morning and her bed isn't the best and we don't want a repeat of the Cinderella challenge with her being tired all of the time so that's what we're going to do and I think I will leave this part here and I will speak to you all soon.